My name is Jeff Railing. I'm, uh, I'm the marketing faculty at the Darla Moore School of Business. I also serve as our director of the Center for Marketing Solutions. Marketing has a lot of tenants. There's research, there's analytics, there's communication strategy, there's branding and positioning, there's product management. Uh, and as a result, it's, it's sometimes a little harder to put into a templated approach. What's really interesting about the marketing discipline is it's constantly evolving. Uh, unlike things like accounting and finance where there tends to be a lot of rules and a lot of regulations, marketing is a very creative process, like I said, a blend of art and science. But today the one thing we do know, as a matter of fact, is that companies have available more information than they've ever had before, and that's data, primary research, secondary research, there's a lot of information available that can help them be smarter about managing their business. A lot of companies don't think about a university as a resource. But when it comes to new analytical techniques, new research techniques, universities typically are on the forefront of that development. And what we are working towards is delivering and applying that, that leading edge thinking to real world problems to make our students better prepared for their future and to help drive companies' futures. Um, we had a mid-sized retailer in the South Carolina, Georgia, North Carolina market approach us saying we're spending in the hundreds of thousands of dollars in marketing and don't believe we're getting a return on investment on those dollars. Uh, what, what should we do? What should we be doing differently? Or their question really was, what are we doing wrong? What we recommended to them was let's peel off a little bit of that marketing budget and do some primary research around who's your customer today and who are those customers that are choosing not to stop in your store and why aren't they? We collected that information, analyzed that information, created a customer segmentation for them of both customers and non-customers, and then created a strategic brief that they were able to share with an advertising agency to basically reshape their entire communication strategy. Another project for a larger company, actually a Fortune 500 company in the B2B space, um, approached us about helping them develop both a consumer slash customer segmentation as well as a parts segmentation. They made large industrial equipment that had a large aftermarket parts business and had tens of thousands of parts, also had tens of thousands of customers, and were really having a difficult understanding how to best market to their customers the right products. So the part segmentation and the customer segmentation had to go ultimately end up aligning and complementing each other in a, in a final recommendation. The client asked us, to get granted us access to all of their data, both for their customers and their parts. And we created what we call a segmentation, both a consumer segmentation as well as a part segmentation, because what they had been doing was a one-size-fits-all approach to marketing. They had one message going to everybody. What we learned in the process was there were actually five different types of customers. They all behaved and thought differently about the aftermarket parts business for the equipment they had purchased. And we ultimately were able to recommend five marketing strategies versus a one-size-fits-all that could help them be more targeted, focused, and ultimately del deliver a better return on investment for their marketing spend.